Okay, I'm back, and Eddie gives me a life. I guess I want a life, because the only thing that could be better at this point would probably be uh, energy. Now this guy, he walks around until you shoot him, and he goes crazy. And if you look at him, um, well, he looks, uh, to me he looks like a typical Nazi character. Not that there's anything bad with the Nazis, just that there was something bad with what one of the German leaders did at the time. I don't think I have to explain what that was. Now I'm assuming that I'm not going to beat the main boss this time because I have to go down through that green wall over there. So I'm just beating this boss the first time. You may want to take the stages in a different order, just so you can be, so you can get the parts. But then you won't have the weapon for the robot master. Nightman throws a mace ball, mostly like a boomerang. It will go out and then come back. It will always stop where you are, and his shield does protect him. Slightly. Okay, maybe it doesn't protect against the Yamatosphere, but that's how you beat Nine Man. And you get the Night Sea. I believe that's the Night Chain or Night Crush, but I'm not sure. The game does not show it returning to you because it doesn't. See, Night Man stage still has an open thing, which means I'm missing something from that stage. But can't worry about that now. Time to take on Centaur Man. Doesn't look more like a horse than a centaur. He's from... His ability is unknown. He's from the ancient city. I believe he's from Greece or somewhere around there. Like Rome or something. Well, not Rome. Because the... Uh, Greek, uh, I believe Centaur is from a Greek mythology, not Roman, or anything for that. <coughs> to destroy that, I'm not really sure. I think they explode if you wait long enough. <coughs> so, a basic water level, which means you jump extra high and whatnot. And I was really close to hitting that. The fish are pretty easy to take out. The cans will shoot in one of three directions. <coughs> if you keep on moving, they won't hit you. <coughs> now this is kind of odd. The water is going up and down. And it only changes your, so it changes your height when you or the monsters are in it. So you have to jump at the right time or you will not be buoyant enough to make it past some parts. These robots can only be killed with a powered up shot. Well maybe there's another way but you can't hurt them with normal shots. You have to use a powered up shot. What you do is it bounces them back into the wall behind them. It just didn't show that because it was really close. And Eddie's giving me things that are really, really useful, but I might not need. Okay, that's a submarine. It will not come down unless you either shoot it or get underneath it. Or above it. If you're level with it, it will come. You don't want it to come because it will shoot little pellets at you and those are harmful. This is where jellyfish continue to fall. And they're pretty easy to make it past if you just don't go too fast. Now I'm fighting evil squid which shoots his missiles and ice blocks at me. Shoots missile and ice block, missile and ice block. I can destroy the missiles if I shoot at them. But I don't really have to because if I destroy the squid, then yeah. 
Obviously, this is the first door you come to, and it's hard to get to, so this is the door you must go through if you want to defeat Centaur Man properly. And the Ace Ball does that. Okay, it does return to you, but it doesn't restore the power it lost. I guess it never saw it return to me, because I always hit my opponent with it. Yes, he disappears, reappears somewhere else, and then shoots his mace ball, his uh, power at you, which freezes you. I I was really close to dying there, but I was able to take him out. So, the Greek, Italian, whatever monster is destroyed. And we're on to the next one. Get Centaur Flash and beat T parts. <clears throat> Centaur Flash freezes time. Kind of like the Time Stopper, Flash Stopper, and uh, the Gravity Hold type thing. But of course, it only works on one opponent, and the only opponent that makes sense here is Windman. He's the master of wind from the mechanical tower. His name is Windman. I'm assuming Windman is from, I guess, a northern Russia area like Siberia or Ural because it's pretty windy up there. If I'm wrong, then I have no idea where he's really from. <clears throat> well, this is a stage. It looks kind of like a clock tower, like the green thing in the middle. And I'm getting really sick of not having the other beat of rush power. <clears throat> Up we go. These things that will go faster if you're on the ground with them. <clears throat> you have to use these wind lifts. To maneuver yourself so you don't end up dying. You have to get off this one quickly or the spikes in the ceiling will connect and kill you. <clears throat> These things are weird. You jump on one side and they flip to the other side. So you have to keep on moving in that fashion. I decided to take the up path. There's a freaking E-tank. A freaking E-tank. Okay. That is pretty odd how I couldn't get the one way. See where it says B E blank T? That's the beat parts. If I get them all, I unlock beat as a play as a weapon. And you know how useful he was in the last game. And here we go up here. Panda bear. Shoots missiles and pellets. Missiles move, go first, and then it'll continue. It'll shoot one or the other, depending on which one will most likely hit you. <clears throat> that thing really looks a lot like Yamato Man. I don't know why I'm equipping jet. I just want to be safe. And it proved not useful. You can't charge either when you have a power equipped. Now there's no need for the jet because I have these things to blow me upward. Wait for this one to take you to the top. Then when you start falling, move over. And I'll stop the video here and pick it up in a sec.